Uncle who's girding? Uh, Malumpy will sure be happy with this wiring. Uncle, I asked you a question. Who's Gertie? Well, she's really nobody. Uncle. Well, you see, son. When my enlistment was up last year, the boys gave me a farewell party. I usually don't drink, son. But that night, I must have. The last thing I remember was standing in front of this tattoo parlor and... They ought to hang you in the Louvre. I was going home to get married. When I saw myself in the mirror, I re-enlisted. I never could explain Gertie to my fiancé. No. Now I can see you've got a problem. Hmm. But you got to look at the bright side. You've probably got the sexiest chest in the Navy. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, I ain't one to worry when there's no need, but... Mm -hmm. Well, after we get all this stuff to the door, how are we going to get back to the boat? Oh, don't you worry about it. Just keep this stuff in peace. Check the warehouse. What's your business here? I'm working here. Just stepped out for a breath of air. Let's see your identification. Certainly. Here you are. Oh, Lieutenant. Mm hmm Why the blackface, sir? Where's your sergeant? Don't you know the penalty for breaking blackout regulations? Blackout regulations? Now, don't be coy. You've read the new order from Admiral Nimitz. No, what order? Regulation 419A2. No Navy personnel shall appear at night without face camouflage. A plane comes over. You look up. The moonlight bounces off your face, gives away our position. Sergeant, a face like that can cause an awful lot of damage. I'm afraid I'm just going to have to put you on report. Honest, sir, nobody told me about it. All right, you've been told. Black out that face, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Admiral Nimitz? Yes, sir. Man, that was close. That was a tramp. We should catch possums that way back home. You fool them into feeling real safe and then pow! We're just three possums waiting to get pow. Don't you ever shut that mouth of yours? Shh, shh. We've only got a couple of minutes. Get the stuff. Shaft. Congratulations. Looks just like you, Tostin. What's that? Your refrigerating unit. That? Oh, we were lucky to get it. Man, it was cold in that ice house. Uh, look, sir. Brand new oil pump shaft. Fine, fine. Now, where's Mr. Houghton? Uh, he's keeping an eye on the truck, sir. Mr. Houghton? It turned out to be a good night for shopping, sir. Yeah. Serve yourself and save. Well, I've got a pretty good idea where you got the Navy supplies, but where'd you pick up an Army truck? Oh, I'm afraid I can't take credit for the truck, sir, no. Uh, Ramon got it. Ramon? Ramon! Uh, smile, sir, he's very sensitive. Huh? Commander Sherman, Sergeant Gallardo. I'm very happy to be a member of your crew, sir. What do you mean, a member of my crew? Well, sir... I promised the sergeant that if he helped us out, you would take him on. But he's a Marine. Uh, well, he's open to a better offer. You better go back to work right now. 
I'll handle everything. That man's a prisoner. Uh, uh, he was. You see, the prison stockade was bombed down. You have no idea the trouble I had in finding him. You mean you actually went looking for him? Of course. He's the greatest operator around here. Why, six months after he became General Warren's personal chef, he was in business for himself. I'll bet. Sole owner of the best restaurant in Manila. Uh, and what about that pee on his back? The pee? Yeah. Oh, that? Yeah, let's start with that. Mm-hmm. Well, you see, somebody started prying around and found out that the Marine Corps was supplying all the meats and silverware. But he's a man that can get a job done for you, sir. Why, there isn't a burglar, swindler, pickpocket, or fence in the islands that doesn't love, know, and respect him. Oh, that's probably a glowing recommendation by your standards, Mr. Holton. But I've no intention of taking a thief on as part of my crew. He's not only a thief, he's an escaped prisoner, a deserter. That's true, sir, but we've got to remember he's one other thing. What? He's also an informer. And uh, if we don't take him with us, why, he'll just tell everybody everything. Yeah. And you're in too deep for that now, sir. Mm -hmm. You see, we don't have a sales slip for all this merchandise. Well, it seems I'm neatly boxed in, Mr. Holden. You made a wise decision, sir. I'll go tell him. He'll be so happy. Uh, Ramon! You gotta give him credit, sir. That's what I call a supply officer. What? I uh, wonder where they got everything. Mr. Stover, there's only one way to live with this situation. It's like watching a strip teaser. Don't ask how it's done, just enjoy what's coming off. Here, oh. 19 December, 1941. Repairs progressing. Crew morale high, except for their concern that our supply officer might be caught and shot. My emotions about this are mixed. Lieutenant Holden and Sergeant Gallardo are undoubtedly the world's greatest thieves. Um, scavengers. To paraphrase Mr. Churchill, never have so few stolen so much from so many. And what they can't find in the warehouses? They improvise. that there's been wholesale scavenging going on. Now, I've tried to overlook it, knowing the position you're in. Yes, sir. But this time, you've gone too far. Mr. Sherman. I want my wall back. Well, uh, I'm not sure we have it, sir. You must have it. You've got everything else. Now, I don't mind a little initiative, but you... Oh, sir, I've got to get back to my boat. Wait a minute. I'll go with you. Stovall. No direct hit, sir. Concussion may have sprung a few plates in the tank. Mr. Watson's checking. Our camouflage caught fire and we had to cut it down. Were we spotted? Yeah. A couple of them came in close enough for us to spit at. And with a 50 out of commission, that's about all we could do. Well, I guess that just about does it. They'll know exactly where to find us any time they're in the mood. I'm sorry, Matt. Sir, request permission to get underway immediately. Get underway? Yes. In that? Well, I can get as far as Cebu and complete repairs there. Cebu? Oh, it's only about 400 miles, sir. You'd be in trouble if it were only 400 feet. You're in no condition to go out. Sir, we've made amazing progress. Why, she can't even submerge. Then if you try running on top in the daylight, you're a dead duck. Malumphrey, well, can this boat go down? Like a rock, sir. Mr. Watson, how are the plates? Tight as a drum, sir. And the engine stopped in? Factory fresh, sir. What do you say, sir? I say take your stuff.